The art of investigating a computer virus, and figuring out where it came from, or how it operates, is known as malware analysis. In this video, I'll walk you through the advantages of learning malware analysis, and explain how hackers or cybersecurity specialists can investigate a malware effectively. So let's get started. Chapter number one, why you should study malware analysis. Okay so as I mentioned that malware analysis is the art of uncovering potential information regarding the origin or core operations of a computer virus. By now, you should have a basic idea of the lucrative and unique career opportunities that mastering a skill of this nature could bring in today's digital world. However, beyond these promising career paths, learning malware analysis will also equip you with a bunch of other valuable skills that you should know about, and if we take a look at them one by one, the first one on our list is gaining a deeper understanding of applications and operating systems. The thing is, if you dissect a malware to see how it works, you also end up knowing a lot more about how popular operating systems like Windows or Mac OS generally work, and which parts of these operating systems do malwares usually attack. This insight will not only help you in becoming a better hacker, but could also empower you to build your own zero-day exploits, rather than relying on other people's malware. Moreover, if you're someone who's interested in learning programming languages or building software in general, knowing how a malware attacks an operating system will also assist you in building your own antivirus or intrusion detection systems, and facilitate you in understanding how a malware can be detected or neutralized. Additionally, if you're aiming to become a forensics expert or an incident response handler, malware analysis will help you in quickly investigating cybercrimes or calculating the severity of a cyber attack attack, and enable you to develop your own tools or strategies to prevent a future attack. Lastly, if you're an attacker, understanding how a forensics investigator might uncover information about you can significantly improve your evasion techniques, and empower you to build a more sophisticated malware, that makes it challenging for an investigator to analyze it or trace it back to its origins. Chapter number 2, But How Is Malware Analyzed? Okay so to analyze or investigate a malware, we have two primary methods. Firstly, there's the static or passive method, and then there's the dynamic or active method. In the static or passive method, a hacker investigates the malware without Without actually executing it, and starts with techniques like file analysis, string analysis, or signature analysis. Now if you're interested in learning more about the steps or techniques used in this method, you can download the PDF that I've prepared by clicking on the link in the description down below, but nonetheless, this method is particularly useful when a hacker wants to quickly assess the nature of a file without the hassle of placing it in a secure environment, and also helps them in swiftly determining whether the malware in question is a virus, worm, trojan, or ransomware. Moving on, in the dynamic or active analysis, a hacker places the malware into a secure environment that is specifically designed for analyzing malware, and then runs it to observe its behavior, or how it attacks the operating system. These specifically designed environments are known as sandboxes, and while there are a bunch of them that you can download on your computer for free, using them without any experience could result in getting your own system hacked, or lead to serious legal consequences, if the malware somehow escapes the sandbox and attacks your home or work network. That's why I recommend using a cloud-based sandbox, where you can easily analyze malware within a web browser, and currently, the best free option to use for this purpose is the sponsor of this video AnyRun. Walking you through what AnyRun is and how malware is dynamically analyzed, it is basically an online sandbox that gives you an option to either upload a malware, or paste the link of a suspicious website, without the risk of going to or running them on your computer. It also allows you to examine the analysis conducted by other users using the community version, and can be highly educational when you're first starting out, or just looking to learn how different malwares work without needing to download them. As an example, if I wanted to check whether someone has analyzed the famous WannaCry virus on any run or not, I could simply search for it using the search bar displayed here, and then take a look at any one of them by clicking on them like this. From here, I could examine all the processes that occurred when the WannaCry malware was running on this sandbox, and take a look at some of the interesting behind-the-scene commands such as this one, which basically removes all the shadow copies of the system, and prevents the user from recovering their data. Moreover, the Connections tab here allows us to see the network connections established by the malware during its execution, and also tells us the IP addresses of the command and control servers it was communicating with. Now the reason why it's sending connections to all these different IPs over here is because the creator of this malware probably used a VPN to hide their location. However, if we detect any one of these IPs to be sending or receiving packets under the traffic column here, we can actually click on it to view all the communication between the malware and control server, similar to how we would analyze traffic on Wireshark. Next, if we want to quickly see a summary of the interesting events or commands executed by a malware, we can also ask ChatGPT to break it down into an easy-to-understand format, or copy the commands we're interested into other AI models for a thorough explanation. Apart from these, any run also allows you to re-analyze a malware under specific conditions if you want, and while I can't go through all the interactive features it offers, you can sign up for any run yourself, and walk through their built-in step-by-step guide to get familiarized with which things are where within the interface. Finally, to sign up for any run, you would need a university or business email for verification, however, if you don't have access to these, you can also reach out to any run on their Discord server, and request an access using your personal email instead. So whether you're a student wanting to learn malware analysis, or an analyst looking for a professional cloud-based sandbox, you can visit www.any.run today, and start exploring for free.
Thanks for listening, let's get back to the video. Okay so the last thing you should know before I end the video here, is that hackers don't like it when you analyze their malware, and so they employ multiple techniques to make it harder for you to do any analysis on it. For this, we use advanced techniques like reverse engineering to understand the core components of a malware, and while that's a topic for another video, I just wanted to mention it here to spark a bit curiosity or motivate you to delve deeper on your own. Anyway guys so that's it for the video, if you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section down below, and I'll see you in the next one.